Hey loves, it's Angelica. Welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new. Today we are doing my nighttime skincare routine and I'm just putting on this band so that it can stop any products from going all over my hair. And now I'm using this cleansing oil by Makeup Revolution. It is an overnight cleansing oil and it is amazing. It is very light. It doesn't have a strong smell. All you need is a little bit. If you want, you can use a cleansing balm in this stage as well. And so I focus this all over my face but not on my eyes and you see why in a couple Couple seconds so I really really work this in and I've only been using this for a short time but I really really like it because it gets all my makeup off and it doesn't leave any oily feeling afterwards and completely emulsifies once you add water to it so it works great as you can see it's just easily dissolving all my makeup and now I'm taking my Pond's micellar water it has niacinamide in it and now I'm just taking my q-tip and I'm soaking that in and running it along my lash line very slowly and this is just to break up the glue underneath my false lashes I know it's very tempting to just rip off your false lashes because they come off pretty easily but this can damage your lash line and also your eyelashes so you want to make sure that you actually melt the glue off before you tip take off or rip off your eyelashes so anywhere where it feels a little stuck you just want to add a little bit more and go ahead and take it off I went ahead and did the same thing on the other side and I don't put the oil on my lashes because oils can sometimes damage false lashes now I'm taking my little square cotton pad I just feel like they're way more bougie than the round ones and I go ahead and put that on my eye and just let it sit for a couple seconds this dissolves all my mascara any leftover glue then I also run it over my eyebrow because I usually put soap on my brows and I don't like soap to go on my face so I go ahead and dissolve that as well know that this is also my exfoliation day some days I use retinol some days it's just more of a hydrating day so if you'd like to see my nighttime skincare routine on a different day you can let me know and I'll definitely share that so I went ahead and washed that and now it's time to cleanse with the La Roche Posay hydrating gentle cleanser and this one is sulfate free soap free fragrance free it has ceramides niacinamide and the classic prebiotic thermal thermal water that La Roche Posay loves to use I love this cleanser it is very gentle it gets all my makeup off I like to massage it in for like a full minute just so I can get the benefits of the ceramides and the niacinamide also give my face a little massage and make sure that everything is perfectly off my face this is safe to use over your eyes as well it is not stinging or anything your face just feels amazing and as you can see my face is completely clean now I'm just patting my face dry with a microfiber face cloth if this was not an exfoliation day I would move straight to my hydrating stage and I would not pat my skin dry so straight into exfoliating I'll be using my Paula's Choice skin perfecting 2% BHA liquid exfoliant this contains salicylic acid it helps unclog large pores smooths and evens out the skin tone it is is really lightweight it absorbs really quickly this is one of the products that helped so much with the texture of my skin it makes your skin instantly feel extremely soft and the next day when you wake up your skin is gonna feel so smooth and if you haven't noticed yet everything I put on my face I run it down my neck and if there's any excess I go ahead and rub that on my hands as well because that is where your age shows and you want to make sure that you take care of those areas as well I also do not put any active ingredients like salicylic acid any AHAs or BHAs under my eyes here I'm using my Kylie skin eye cream and this one is a very nice brightening eye cream and it contains some vitamin C and I just pat that underneath my eyes as you see I don't rub you want to be very gentle under your eyes so I go ahead and pat that in and then just put it all around my orbital bone you don't want to put this close to your lash line because it is a cream and it is going to travel and get to those areas if you put it too close your eyes might start to get like cloudy cloudy and blurry that irritating feeling on your eyes so if you ever get that this is the key and trust me your eyes will still be very nicely hydrated and if this was during the day I would go ahead and use my Satchu Beauty Gua Sha but because this is nighttime I'll be using my Makeup Revolution Vibrating Rose Quartz Wand and I love this so much I keep it in the fridge so the stone is always very cold and it vibrates of course you can't see it but it is vibrating and I just run that along underneath my eye and then once it it's once it feel nice once everything feels nice and blended in, I go ahead and put it on my forehead in the middle of my forehead and also like on the bridge of my nose. And this is just very, very relaxing and it helps the product absorb. I don't usually jade roll or gua sha at nighttime because my skin is not usually as puffy as it is in the morning. So I usually do those steps in the morning, but for the night, this is what I do. And now for my hydrating stage, I'm using my Hada Labo Gokujin 
hyaluronic acid lotion this contains three different weights of hyaluronic acid so they penetrate your skin at different levels it is very very hydrating you can put multiple layers of this if you have very very dry skin my skin is very dry and I find that because of the other products I use I usually only need one layer but if it's winter sometimes I'll need two layers this absorbs into the skin so well and it leaves your skin feeling so plump and I feel like it helps with the smoothness it doesn't really have any ingredients that say it does that but it definitely helps with smoothness and as you can see I rub it down and all the extra parts of my body as well then I go ahead and gently pat it in instead of just waiting for it to dry I feel like patting it in just pushes it into the skin a little bit better I also put on all the excess products on my lips as well and now it's time for one of my favorite serums this is the Estee Lauder advanced night repair serum and this one contains bifida ferment lysate which helps with smoothing fermented ingredients are great for getting rid of texture it also has baobab seed oil some tripeptides sodium hyaluronate so it's moisturized it's smoothing it works very very well but it is very very pricey so if you can't afford this one a great dupe is one by a K beauty brand I will put a picture of it in the screen I also link it in the description box below so you can check that out that is the best dupe I have ever found the name has just escaped me right now but it'll be on the screen so you know what it is so I gently rub that in as well I want to make sure that everything is very well absorbed and as you see I take it down my neck as well and put it on my hands this is I would highly highly recommend the serum and now for my moisturizer I'm using the CeraVe moisturizing cream this is very thick very moisturizing if you don't have dry skin like me I'd suggest you use the other one that comes in a pump because that one is much more light and I think it would not clog your pores or feel heavy or oily on your skin this one I would only suggest if you have very very dry skin like me so this is a and as you can see, I mix high end and low end um, products all the time because certain things are worth spending the extra money on and certain things are just really not like cleansers I really don't think you have to spend so much on cleansers just get what you need and if you want to see my routine on a different day when I use retinols or when it's just more of a hydrating day you can let me know and I'll definitely post that right now I'm hydrating my lips with this revolution overnight lip mask and I actually cannot sleep with masks on my lips but I love this one I put it on at least an hour before bed so that it can completely sink into my lips and I know it looks a little scary it's a little white but after like two minutes it completely absorbs into the lips and you can't see it at all before bed I just wipe it off my lips and when I wake up in the morning my lips are still nice and hydrated thank you so much for watching hit my face on the side of the screen to subscribe if you did it in the beginning watch the two videos on the side of the screen I'll see you guys in my next one bye